Hello everybody, you are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Today we're going to be talking about topic seven, lesson one. And today's learning target is, I can divide decimals by 10, 100, or 1,000. Here are a couple of notes that I think are really important for you to understand today's concept. First of all, 10 to the second equals 10 times 10, which equals 100. It does not equal 10 times 2. Remember, we're talking about exponents here, so 10 to the third would actually equal 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000. Remember, the exponent tells us how many zeros to add to that one. Another important thing for you to remember and write down today is to count the zeros in 10, 100, or 1,000, and then move the decimal to the left that many places. Yes, it is that easy. Here's today's story problem. Our friend Lydia wants to make headbands for 10 of her friends in Teen Gerwell, and they should all be the same width. So how wide will each headband be? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out, do we have enough information to solve the problem? And we do, because over here we know the length of the cloth is 89 and 5 tenths centimeters. And we know she wants to make headbands for 10 of her friends. So we're going to do 89 and 5 tenths divided by 10. But wait, you don't have to do any math when you are dividing by tens, one hundreds, or one thousands. Remember, we talked about this before in an earlier topic. Now we're just going to add in decimals. Remember, the quotient of a number, that means a number which is the answer to a division problem, is a number divided by ten, one hundred, or one thousand is going to be less than the number you started with because you're dividing. That means you're getting a smaller number. So, which way would we move the decimal in 89 and 5 tenths to decrease the value? Would we move it to the left, or would we move it to the right? Hmm, what do you think? Well, let's find out. 89 and 5 tenths is the number we have. If we were to move the decimal to the right, that would give us 895. Is 895 larger than 89 and 5 tenths? Yes, so when we move the decimal to the right, it gets larger. But in this instance, we want to divide or get smaller. So if we move the decimal one point to the left, we have eight and 95 hundredths. Is eight and 95 hundredths smaller than 89 and 5 tenths? It is. So if we move the decimal to the left, the number gets smaller. This is exactly what we want to do when we are dividing by tens, one hundreds, or one thousand. So let's go back to our story problem. We knew that Lydia was going to have to take 89 and 5 tenths divided by 10. But before we do any math, we need to count how many zeros are in the number we're dividing it by. Well, there's one. In the number 10, there's one zero. So that means we are going to need to move the decimal one place to the left because it's getting smaller. So eight and 95 hundredths. That is how you divide 89 and 5 tenths divided by 10. You simply move the decimal point one spot to the left because there's only one zero in 10. So let's do one together. 126 and 4 tenths divided by 100. First thing we need to do is go ahead and count how many zeros we have. One, two. So now we need to move the decimal point to the left two places. So there's one and there's two. So we move the decimal between the one and the two and we get our answer. One and 264 thousandths. Uh-oh. What would you do if you need to move a decimal more places to the left then you have digits. Is that even possible? Well, it is. You just have to annex a zero. Remember that word annex is our math word for add. So in this case, if we had 12 and 5 tenths divided by 1,000, here we have three zeros. So we're going to need to move the decimal point three places to the left. But here we only have two digits. One, two. So what are we going to do? We have to move one more. So that's the third. So we're going to add a zero and move the decimal point. Our answer is 
0.0125. Now you try. Here are tonight's practice problems. Go ahead and stop the video after you write the problems down, figure out the answers, and then come back to see if yours are correct. Remember, when we're talking about dividing by 10 to the second, that just means two zeros after the one. 10 to the third means you should have three zeros after the one. Go ahead and stop the video and come back when you're ready. All right, here come the answers in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and check your answers and make sure that you mark them incorrect if they are in fact incorrect. Yes, the decimal point is very, very important. It has to be in the right place for these answers. Now make sure you've checked your work and you write how many you got correct. Be honest, it is not for a grade. Go ahead and honestly fill out the self-reflection. I just need you to write in, I could teach a friend, or think I got it, or I have no idea. And then fill in the space for any questions you may still have. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to working with you in small groups tomorrow. Bye-bye.